We're continuing our conversation with Clive Cannons, pharmacy owner from Wainui Amata, about his leaving the Unichem brand three years ago and going independent. So, Clive, leaving the Unichem brand left you without a brand. How did you deal with that? Yes, at first uh, it was quite difficult and I had to give it a lot of thought. But my observation was that just because you were in a Unichem brand, there was no consistency across the country. Mm -hmm. Some Unichems were fantastic and some Unichems could do better. Mm -hmm. So I thought about that and came to the conclusion that the brand is not the sign above the door. Mm -hmm. um, I think that the brand is the feel that a customer has when they come into your pharmacy. So as a consumer, patient, client, friend, whatever you like to call yourself, um, when you go into a shop, sometimes you can feel a real vibrancy. Yeah. Everything's perfect, the staff are engaged, you come out of there feeling great. Mm -hmm. Other shops that you go into, it's like, who died? Mm. You know, it's very down, yeah. it's the shelves are dirty, mm. and I mean those are the two extremes. But what they represent is the culture of the business. Mm -hmm. And I think the brand of your business is built out of the culture of your business. So uh, even when we were still with Unichem, we were known as the happy chemist. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I'm not sure where that came from. It was just a nickname that people gave us as mm -hmm. a shop. But we built upon that mm -hmm. and, and made that part of the culture of the business. So we had already had that working in the background before we left Unichem. So when we left, I decided that's going to be our brand, that's going to be the essence of our culture. Mm -hmm. um, so I got everyone together and we talked about the reasons that we come to work every day. What is the reason that the staff come and pick up their paycheck? Is it just mm -hmm. to fill in time, get some money and pay the mortgage? Yeah. Or is there a better reason for coming to work? So we talked about the vision of the business, the mm -hmm. mission of the business, mm -hmm. and we decided that our mission was to improve the health of our whole community. Mm -hmm. To get to the point where every single person that came into our pharmacy went out feeling uplifted, mm -hmm. a little more positive, maybe a little bit healthier, uh, with more options, yep. a whole lot of things, mm -hmm. but we weren't focusing on making a sale, we were focusing on something positive happening to our customers, and then beyond that, doing something positive for our community. Mm -hmm. So our brand became the happy chemist in terms of our mission of mm -hmm. making our community happy, Aww. is the simplest way of putting it. Yep. So we also uh, employed a graphic designer to come up with the new logo, Nice. Which hopefully um, embodies that feeling of positiveness, yeah. of friendliness, yeah. of um, empathy, all those things that we wanted to to establish as the culture and mm -hmm. therefore the brand of our business. Yeah. So it was a bit of a journey. I hate mm -hmm. that word journey, but it was. <laughs> and it and it and the brand is changing all the time. The yeah. logo is the same, mm -hmm. but the way that we bring that to our customers every day, I think is maturing and we're getting a better understanding of what we can do every day to make our customers happy. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Clive. Next month, we will ask Clive about what he'd do differently with the benefit of hindsight, if he is making more money, and how he went about putting into place a reward scheme. Thank you.